Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. So we are still on first principle method of differentiation. At this point, I'll introduce you to a formula which is the first principle um, formula for differentiation. Now, here's what the formula is. If I'm given a function f of x, from first principle, I'll have that the differential or the first derivative of this function, which we said is f prime of x, is equal to the first principle formula is this. It becomes f of x plus change in x minus f of x all over change in x taking the limit of change in x to be equal to zero so this is my first principle formula of um, differentiation i'll explain this using a very simple concept um, let's say i have y being equal to um, 3x squared plus um, let's say 2x for instance i'm asked to differentiate this using first principle do a guesswork from this if i use general method i'll have that dy over dx from general method is this times this that's 6x into 2 minus 1 that's 2 plus in this case it's just 2 and x standing alone so it becomes what there 2 by differentiation I'll have this using general method. You could perhaps factorize here if you wish. But let's look at how to solve this using first principle formula. So it's just the same concept as what we did initially. From here, we said to y, add change in y. To x, add what there? Change in x. So I'm having y here it becomes y plus change in y is equal to, it becomes 3 here. I'm having x squared becomes x add word there change in x this man is squared becomes squared here plus next up i'm having two into here is x add word there change in x so i'm having this next up now i'll expand this and try to simplify so this gives you y plus change in y is equal to three into if i expand this it becomes what there um x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared that's for the expansion of this plus 2 into what there x plus change in x so i'm having this i already explained this in the previous video so you could go back to the previous video and see how i expanded this all right next up now i'll have to uh, multiply true that means i'll expand this bracket multiply all of these by 3 multiply this by 2 so i'll have that y plus change in y is equal to 3 times x squared gives you 3x squared plus 3 times 2 gives you 6 i'm having x change in x plus 3 times change in x squared gives you 3 change in x squared plus 2 times x gives you 2x plus 2 times change in x gives you 2 changing x. Next up, I'll look at this. Are there like terms? Um, no, no like terms. So next up, I'll move y over here. Move y over here. So I'm having that change in y is equal to 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus um, this 3 change in x squared plus i'm having this as 2x plus 2 change in x so here's plus y comes here because what there your minus y all right but we already have that y is equal to 3x squared 3x squared um, plus 2x so i'll substitute this value into this position here so I'll have that change in y is equal to 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared 
plus 2x plus 2 change in x minus y the value of y here is what 3x squared plus 2x so this is the value of y here observe that i encase y in a bracket please be very careful with this so put this value of y here but put it in bracket first so this is now equal to i have that change in y is now equal to um, 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared plus 2x plus 2 change in x minus to this minus 3x squared minus to plus 2 minus 2x so i have this value now notice why i have minus y here is what you have here so the first concept is subtract um, when you add x to change in x here subtracts this whole value by the function f of x and that's the what that's what you that's what you have here so it became when i added change in x here this value i subtracted the main function from this so it became minus y and that's the meaning of what you have here all right so i have what i have here um next up i can see x squared i can see minus x squared so x squared cancels minus x squared also i can see 2x i can see minus 2x so 2x cancels minus 2x i'm left with change in y being equal to this is 6x change in x um, this is 3 change in x squared this is plus 2 change in x and i'm having this all right so at this point here i can see change in x all of this that's all through this next up i said whenever you're um, from this now next up i will divide by divide by change in x and that's what you have this here so it means after subtracting your this function which is this all right so after subtracting and cancelling out collecting like terms next up divide through by changing x and that's what i have here divide by changing x um, this now gives you this now gives um change in y as being equal to 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared plus 2 change in x we said we are dividing through by changing x so it becomes here all over change in x divide here by what change in x divide here by what change in x divide here by change in x what happens that i'm having what here change in y all over change in x equal to from here now this cancels this becomes 6x plus this is squared two of it so it becomes three if this cancels two of this one is still left so it becomes change in x plus from here this cancels this it becomes two so i have this value here finally we said take limit of changing x as being equal to zero so where i see changing x here i'll put zero so i'll have limit of changing x as being zero this will now be equal to i'm seeing 6x plus becomes 3 into changing x is what there zero plus what two so it's now equal to 6x plus 3 times 0 is 0. So it's off. I'm left with what here? 2. Observe, I have the same answer as when I use my general method. 6x plus 2. So this is a simple idea. And this becomes the formula of um, differentiation using first principle.